This is a tutorial from IQ Advanced about the iScan My Food phone app. Today we're going to look at the iScan My Food Pro version. The Pro version has over 3,000 food additives listed. We have two versions. We have a light version of iScan My Food, which has 500 E coded or E numbers, uh, which are food additives. And then we have the Pro version, which has over 3,000 additives. Here we have our main screen. The main screen shows you about iScan My Food, a little information about what the product is, our terms and conditions of use, uh, how to use the app in nine easy steps. If you find an additive that's not listed in our 3,000 additives, you can submit an additive to us via email. This will go right to your email and simply type in your email address and you can send your, your additive that you want to send. Going back, uh, you can also contact us directly and we do have a website, iscanmyfood.com, uh, where you can also get support in a discussion board. Now at the bottom we have our navigation. This is a standard navigation. We have a search function. The search function shows all the E-number coded additives. Uh, we have them in green, red, and yellow coding. And red represents an additive that is not safe to use. We have a description about it the side effects about it, and an actual URL that will link out to the web uh, to give you more information about that particular additive. You can view simply just the red functions or the red E numbers. You can see all the green ones and again you'd get your description, side effects, a link to the website harmfuladditives.com. Yellow shows you potentially unsafe additives. Each one of these you can click on. Uh, you can find out about the description. This is food coloring. And then you can actually click on the link going to the web again. All right, and now we're going to go to the name section. And the name section has over 3,000 alphabetically organized additives. And you'll notice that there's one more color here besides red, green, and yellow. It's the black icon with the upside down question mark. These are additives that have no test or insufficient studies and really have unknown long-term effects. And so we don't have much information on it, but we do have links going to our website at harmfuladditives.com and you'll be able to see the latest information about those additives. All right, so we've done the search section where we've got the E numbers, We've got the red uh, items, the green items, the yellow items, and the full alphabetical list. We're going to jump over to the database for a second, just to show you that in the database we can actually have different things that we've scanned and then saved into a database. So now let's go over to the scanner for a second, and you'll see that there's two functions here. There's the camera and the camera roll. And camera roll is actually uh, where you can go out to uh, a grocery store and just photograph a bunch of different items. Then pull in your photographs and view them and then do your scan later instead of scanning them right at the grocery store. When you do your scan there is a white bounding box and you can move the image around and you can enlarge it and you want to try to enlarge this as large as possible within the bounding screen, the white bounding screen, and then hit choose. The process is about a four to five second process to process the image as the OCR does the optical character recognition and then gives you the results from the scan and then you can name it. But let's go ahead and let's go back to the scanner here and we're going to do an actual scan from a package. All right, here we are with our two functions. Again, we have the camera and the camera roll. This time we're going to use the camera. With this camera, 
You never want to shoot a shot where it's horizontal to the ground. You want to shoot the shot where it's vertical to the ground, otherwise the image won't process. Now you can see it on your screen here and when the image is in focus and the image is as large as you can get it on, on the screen, then you touch the camera and it rotates the image to vertical now and there is a bounding box here. This bounding box is what you want to use as a guide to center the image, enlarge it. You want to enlarge the image as close to the letters as you can, then process the image by hitting the Use button. The Use button starts the OCR. Uh, within three to five seconds, you have a scanned image that's been converted to text, and you have your results from your scan. The additives have been pulled from our database. Right at the top in this wide screen up here, you can click right here and now you can name the scanned image that, or the scanned product that you've just scanned. We're going to call this Chinese egg flour soup. And then say done and you need to remember to save to the database and it's at the bottom of the screen here, save to the database. And here we have egg flour soup. These are the additives in here. If by any chance the scanner did not get all the items that were on the package, you can hit an add function here and go through our database and add an item. And let's say we wanted to add acid treated starch. We click on that and it goes to the bottom of the list that has been added. If you didn't want to add this, you can also remove it. So you can hit delete and there's a little minus sign here and then you just delete that particular item and say done. Now the beauty of this is that you've named this Chinese egg flour soup and you can also email this entire list to yourself. You can send it to your Facebook account, you can send it to your friends and family and here it says Chinese egg flour soup. It has all the ingredients that it found a description of each one, the side effects, and a link to harmfuladditives.com with more description about each additive that was found on the package. And then you just click send. Then that'll be sent. All right, so here we are. We've just received our email from the iPhone app. And as you can see, it says, I scan my food app results. This is from Chinese egg flour soup. We can scroll down and we'll see palm oil, uh, monosodium glucamate, all the different additives that were found on the packaging, and it's quite a long list. Each additive has a link, and when we click on one of these links here, and here you'll notice that we offer images about the modified palm oil, web links that tell you more about modified palm oil, blogger news, and even world news is presented. We're actually giving you a lot of information on our website uh, directly from the iPhone in addition to the results you found on the iPhone. And that's the conclusion of this tutorial. You can find us at iscanmyfood.com and also in the iTunes store.